Guys. Prove yourself. You don't want the puck to have all of that damage, and you'd be left behind in the dirt. Meanwhile, Juggernaut getting very, very low in this top lane. Look at this right click damage. Can they do it? The jump falls from the Morphling Stun is there, but it's not enough to keep the, uh... Actually gonna go on to Madara here. I think Madara's dead, right? But can they get the return kill? That's the question. Madara still staying alive. That is not gonna be... Oh, yes it is. Okay, they both die. The, uh, the damage... Oh, top lane. Jericho's gonna take himself and all the creep. He's just got a chainmail. Um, going straight, my god, he's gonna, he's gonna have that really soon, rushing medallion like a madman here. Um, oh, middle lane, they actually find the kill on t Thanks to this, uh, Puck Illusion. So this kind of, uh, they, they know the Chen's about, so they'll be like, nice and defensively. Top lane, they're going on to free kick, can they find the last hit? They sure can! And Itos dives deep and does get it. Uh, meanwhile, the Coil actually come and come out onto the Morphling, and he's gonna TP himself out. He's, uh, doing pretty decently. Um, jumping from Dunhow, and, uh, I'm fairly sure Dunhow just dies to this. All right. Um. You were a fool to oppose me. So sword goes back to farming like nothing happened there, even though he just killed the sanking. And uh, Mandy and, and four 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 are just kind of also just pretending it didn't happen. Oh, Puck going down. He's dived too deep here. One more shot will be required. But guess what? He's gonna go for the star point. Meanwhile, in bottom, they use a dual breath onto sword, trying to chase him down the bow strike as well. They will be able to find that kill. So, uh, finally they get a kill on this Venomancer. Um, Dunhow manages to pull it together this time. Oh, top lane though. They've left the Venomancer at bottom to try and defend, but now the Burst Strike coming out, and the Dual Breath as well, and the Omni Slash. They are committing for this kill. The TP just goes, you know what, mate? To do that. Although the defense is here, three heroes come, and Ray are actually jumping in on this. The stuns are available, but does actually miss. Now the coil is out. Witch Doctor is going to try and go for the TP. Do they have a bit of mass? No, they do not, but he does die in base thanks to that coil. Now the Burst Strike. Smokes up, into the middle lane we go. Who can they find? The silence is up onto the Underlord and the Malediction as well, but the coil is there. Now the Burrow Strike comes out, sorry, the ultimate from the Omni Knight comes through, and they manage to kill the Death Prophet as well. Jesus, the Omni. Well shaped hump on the graph there, but yeah, pretty much flat out equal for T Show Rides against Lucini. Oh, Epicenter. Uh, not needed, thankfully. But, um,. Maybe he knew that he didn't need it, so he just ran out and cancelled the epi and just went for the bow strike instead. We're gonna say it was that, guys. We're gonna say it was that. Please. There's no flame. Then how? Um, yeah, he's dead. It's, uh, it's taken down. Uh, meanwhile, Ray are gonna try and kill some creeps in the backlands. This is quite brave, though. But uh, Ray is just gonna play with him, throws down the coil. He's gonna have to wait two seconds for this illusionary orb, but it might be enough to help him get away. Interesting jump from him. Um, I would have suggested maybe going deeper into the trees here, but I guess they would have found him anyway. And uh, now with the Plague Wards, I mean, he's just making time here. Meanwhile, up at top, might save Dan Hell's life. Where's that bow strike? One second. He's going to jump forwards here. Does he survive the Crypt Swarm? Is it going to hit? Yes, it will. Nice job from Jay Marie there, noticing that he wasn't in the direction he was facing and guessing correctly. Now comes out that Poison Nova from the Venomancer. What damage can they do here? Meanwhile, Rare coming in the back lines, but it's going to be Lucini going deep here under the tower. They, in fact, the tower drops, and they also find t two kills on the trees. Yes, it is going to be two kills on the trees. Also, has now got the value point in it, which I like, which I really like. In fact, nice ice bath onto two here. What value plays as they will be able to catch that wish doctor but in comes the rest of lucini looking to punish this 444 he's in the middle of it all and he gets taken out meanwhile sanking what was he trying to do there i don't know but he's going to get caught out as well done how hits the deck Once. Oh, pretty happy to try and take this meanwhile in the bottom lane bundle just going to try and put some kind of pressure on and uh yeah he's going to tp out of this one but he's dead so, Madara getting a solo kill on the Witch Doctor there, just almost trying to bait something here. But, uh, the only thing he's going to be baiting is his own life, so he gets... Oh, no, they don't have the sight for it. They re honestly don't have the sight for the, uh, Glimmer Cape. Now, where are these Rock Golems? That's my question. They're, they're hanging about. They're ready to go. Oh, there comes the Omni Sash up to Madara. Can they keep him alive? No, they cannot. And now he doesn't have the, uh, jump out available. And those Rock Golems will make short work of him. Which delays the push a little bit, although, uh, one is left alive, but there we go. Get taken out. Um, but they don't even need it. Actually gonna bring it down before Epicenter being charged up from the high ground. Who can he find? The silence out on somehow. Missing the Morphling though. Only finding Jericho with that bow strike and now the turnaround. They're trying to found Puck. Meanwhile on the back lines they have actually shotgun down. Done. Raya. Gotta get out of here somehow. 
Gonna throw out the coil, in fact, but he is gonna drop. So I'm just gonna sit in his coil. It's uh, actually very useful. And, uh, I mean, when you've got the Death Prophet, you want to be able to, you know, it's, it's pretty good to be able to get, you know, magic damage on another hero. They've got so much physical, and in they go. They actually might be able to bring down the Venomancer, at least, and the Omni Slash doing a lot of work here with that Battle Fury. Mandy now gonna back off for the time being, breaking that Spirit Siphon. Lucini, very nice form through this team fight, staying together nicely, but now Jay Marie caught out, but actually just going hard here. She knows these ghosts are going to be returning to her in a minute. She's not afraid to get involved, and now the Death Ward on the high ground going to do a lot of work to bring down the uh, Jakiro. Madara is low, though. The jump fall is from Dunhow. Can they take him out? Yes, they can. Meanwhile, 19 and Etos, this might be his ages, Joe. They are going to be able to defend this, and let's see what else they can get. 19 and Ito is going to waveform up to the high ground, try and TP out. Can they get the bash? Yes, they can. Will they get the burst strike? And that's all they need, and they will be able to kill the Morphling in this series. Nope. Jakira coming in, gets the Ice Blast, and uh, really good positioning on that Macropyre. It's doing a lot of work already, and Madara actually using the ultimate from inside that Macropyre will reposition itself to survive the Voodoo Restoration, holding him still. Meanwhile, Venomancer gets stunned up. Nice burst strike onto two, and in comes a Juggernaut. Oh. My god, that is a lot of damage. Mandy able to take a middle lane. They've actually managed to catch the Death Prophet out. Now she has got the ulti available and a brand new side of vice, but that also means no buyback. Running back in though, doesn't even care. And uh, well, the end of all is just trying to get, get people get people away and they will be able to find two people. <laughs> yeah, I think they're trying to force stuff someone there. Um, Puck, he's gonna go down. As a uh, Puck number two coming out into middle lane. Now there comes the epicenter out onto the Morphling. Can he get that strength morph off? Yes, he can. He's actually turned into the Jug. This could be tricky for him, though. There we go, actually turning back into the Morphling so that he can morph that strength. He's getting very, very low there, though. Pit of Malice is out. The Burrow Strike onto the Venomancer. Can they take him down? Follow up with the nice Path. Can they bring him down? He's taking damage to the Firestorm as well. Those right clicks are going to be enough to take him out. Meanwhile, Gemini going to come up onto the high ground and in comes the Morphling trying to do the damage. What can he do? Where is your Burrow Strike? It is available. Well, he gets headed to a sheep just in time by Gemini. Now the Death Ward ripping through, doing the damage. Sanking, he might well make it out. Never mind the ethereal blade finishes him off. Mandy trying to get in and do the damage, but it's a triple kill for 19 and Nitos. The buyback is there from the Jakiro. Meanwhile, the puck trying to do the damage. We'll be able to take down the Morphling, in fact, and they find Madara. Jay Marie, last one alive on the side of Lucini. Oliver Chen, who is finally making his way into this fight. She throws herself up to the air. She has got the site available. We'll use it onto the juggernaut to try and keep herself alive. They turn their attention to Jericho. They will take him down, and Jay Marie is. So they're all gaining uh, a bunch of magic resistance, actually. That's interesting. All right, so here we go. Here comes the epicenter, but those <laughs> those cloaks are doing a certain amount of work here. And in comes the Omni Slash. What can they do? The Chen Heal comes out. How much damage can they do? Mandy on the back lines trying to finish off. Sword can do it. There is no Venomancer. He did get the ulti off. Now the Burrow Strike through onto Jay Marie. He has got that cheese. Will use it with the refresh shot of his inventory. Now if he wants to use it, he's got also the BKB just coming out to him. This is a perfect timing for him running through. Andy coming forwards, but Jay Marie pops the BKB for the second time, running forwards, just using those siphons to take away their health. Jakiro, he's gonna go down. Tisho, what do you do? Jumping in, just trying to find the quick kill there. Mandy will blink in and be able to find that kill.